my YouTube channel. My name is Hope and I am a photographer serving both Charleston and Savannah. And this YouTube channel is where I share education for photographers as well as a little bit of a peek into my life living in the low country. And today we are talking about photographing seniors, but we are talking specifically about senior guys. Because if you've ever photographed a senior guy before or worked with guys in general, like groomsmen at a wedding, they can be a little difficult to photograph. For some reason, I've been in business for almost nine years now and I've always been intimidated by photographing senior guys. I can photograph any senior girl like in my sleep. I am so used to that, so comfortable with that. But photographing senior guys can be a little bit more intimidating because typically they're not really excited about the experience. Mom's asking them to do it because she really wants the pictures. He's kind of begrudgedly agreeing because he really wants to make her happy. And you as a photographer are kind of limited from a posing perspective and a location perspective. It's not quite the same thing as photographing those senior girls that are super excited and bring 15 outfits and it's like the highlight of their senior year, right? So in today's video, I want to break down some of my tips and tricks and how I approach photographing my senior guys. But before we dive in further, I have a gift for you in the description. If you are somebody who likes to have a physical copy or something mapped out for you step by step that you can read, I have created a senior boy guide for you in the description. It's 100% free, just a gift to you to say thank you so much for watching. I talk a little bit about my senior guys, how I approach the session, and it's a posing guide for you with all of my my senior guy poses laid out for you with exactly what I say, examples of each pose, examples of variations, and you can literally take it with you to your next session to scroll through it on your phone in your pocket and know that you have some backup help with your posing if you get stuck. So download that at the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching and let's go ahead and dive in. So one of the things that I get asked very frequently is why like why do you not photograph more senior guys? That's the biggest question I get is, I don't see you photographing senior guys a lot, but I know that you do it. How did you market like that? Because I also want to specialize in senior girls. So let's start there because there are some photographers out there like me who just feel like they were better at photographing senior girls, that they really love that, that that's their niche, something that they really enjoy. And they just don't feel like they're quite as talented at photographing the senior guys. I consider myself someone who specializes in senior girls. So if you are in that same boat, my biggest piece of advice to you would be to start showing more of what you want to shoot. So if you don't want to photograph a ton of senior guys and you just want them to kind of be sprinkled in throughout, but not necessarily be your specialty, I would stop sharing senior guys as frequently as you share your senior girls. The work that you show is going to be the work that you attract. So if you're showing a ton of senior guys and showing how good you are at photographing senior guys, you're going to keep booking senior guys. So that's tip number one. Just keep that in mind. With that said, tip number two is that one of the things I have found that my senior guy clients really appreciate is that I offer a smaller mini session senior package for them that I don't advertise and that I don't offer anywhere, but that isn't as expensive or demanding or all inclusive as my two, two and a half hour senior girl experience, right? Unless they're kind of in a unique position where they're truly just super excited about their photos. I found that typically the guys aren't excited. So what I do is when a senior guy or their mom typically is who's inquiring emails me, I offer them a 30 minute mini package. That's half the price of my full experience. It includes one location and one to two outfit changes and 30 digital images. And this smaller package allows for the guy to immediately be like, Oh, she's on the same page as me. We're on the same team because she's willing to offer me a shorter experience. So I don't have to go through two full hours of photos if they just really don't want to. I do leave my two hour package available to them too, if they would prefer to book that. But I have only had one senior guy in my entire nine years of business book that full two hour senior package. And it's because he was a photographer too. So consider adding in a smaller package offering for your senior guys, because I found that they truly appreciate that and really love the opportunity to know that it's not going to take two and a half hours because that's probably what they're expecting. And it's a relief for them to know that it's going to be short and easy. And then tip number three is that when it comes to posing senior guys, that's where a lot of people get really intimidated because you're a lot more limited on posing your guys than you are your girls, right? Because you can't do hands on hips. You can't do the cute, like walking and swaying your dress. You don't want to do like the close up shots 
like this because those are all a little bit feminine. So you want to make sure that you have some poses in your pocket that you can pull out and make sure that you have tons of variety at your guy sessions. And one of my favorite ways to do this, well, two favorite ways to do this is to make sure that number one, I am choosing locations that have the opportunity for a lot of variety. I want to make sure the locations that I am photographing aren't just somewhere like an open field where I'm kind of limited on the posing that I can have him do because there aren't stairs or things to lean against. I want to make sure I'm going somewhere that we can move from spot to spot or like vignette to vignette throughout the entire shoot to get a lot of variety of locations and also allow for a lot of variety in posing. If there are walls for them to lean into, stairs for them to sit on, fences for them to lean against, there's going to be so much more variety available to me from a posing perspective as well as a location perspective and an aesthetic perspective. And then tip number two, if you want to add in more variety, is to change your focal length frequently throughout the session. When I'm photographing senior girls, I typically have my 50 millimeter lens on almost the entire two hour shoot. With my guys, I'm switching between my 35, my 50, and my 85 millimeter lenses to automatically get a more variety within those focal lengths. Because if I could photograph the exact same image on my 35, 50, and 85, and they would all look drastically different. So if you feel like you're struggling with variety, go ahead and add in some new lenses and some new focal lengths to get more variety in that final gallery. So if you want to learn more about photographing senior guys, like I mentioned before, there's a free guide down for you below. And I also have a monthly membership called the senior scoop. There are almost 500 photographers in this membership and you get to watch me at real senior sessions every single month. So for $27 a month, you get full uncut senior shoots that are two hours long. You get to see me voice over why I was doing what I was doing and what I was thinking in real moments, like showing up to a location and it's covered in scaffolding because it's under construction and how I photograph crowded locations. And you get to see a full boy senior session with an amazing senior named Dylan. Um, doors aren't currently open while I'm filming this, but you can join the wait list below if that's something that would be of interest to you. But thank you so much for tuning in. Would love to have you subscribe. My goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers this year. So it would mean the absolute world to me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye y'all.